Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum How's the way? Share it One, two, three Waalaikumsalam Waalaikumsalam That's the way to answer it Good job, kids How are you, kids? Alhamdulillah Amazing If I ask your condition Please answer Like Start right How are you today? Alhamdulillah I'm great Amazing Allahu Akbar Like this Let's do it. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. I'm great. Amazing. Allahu Akbar. Wow. Good job. I'm so happy because I can see you kids in my learning classroom. So, for we start our lesson today, let me introduce myself. My name is Aksanul Fikri. You can call me Kak Fikri. And special for today, we're gonna discuss about subject. What is it about? It's about Islamic studies. Uh, best for today, well, we will not discuss about math and science, but Islamic studies. The topic for today is about the five pillars of Islam. Okay, are you ready, Kate? Okay. But before we start our lesson today, let's pray together. Pray position. Let's pray together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi zidni ilma warzuqni fahma. Amin. Okay. Okay. Have you heard about this topic? Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Yeah, if you don't, today we're gonna discuss it together. Okay, okay. Let's move. Okay. Okay. Oh, before we jump to the main topic, yeah, these are the learning objectives that will we achieve. Yeah, that we will achieve for today after learning this topic. Yeah. After learning this topic, yeah, hopefully students are able to list the five pillars of Islam, explain the meaning of each pillar, apply some of the five pillars of Islam to our life. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, because we have to implement the five pillar our daily life right okay so what are our agendas for today okay uh, have a look please yeah look on the yeah look at the screen okay there are six agenda the first is introduction yeah i already done right The second, we are going to discuss about the meaning of a pillar. Next, the five pillars of Islam. And then, discussion, we're going to discuss together. And then, conclusion, let's make conclusion. And then, the last but not least is reflection. To check your understanding about this topic. Are you ready? Let's move to the first topic, uh, subtopic about the meaning of a pillar. Okay. Okay. What is the meaning of a pillar? Do you know what's the meaning of a pillar? Can you guess it? Okay. Look at the screen, please. Yeah. As on the screen, please. Okay. On the right side, uh, there is a pillar, right? Okay. Can you describe best on the picture on the screen? Look. Yes. Okay. Best on the picture, we can describe 
that the word pillar means a tall structure that is made out of stone, wood, or metal. Usually, we use pillars as support for a building or a house, right? Have a look at this house. Have a uh, bigger question. What would happen to this house if one of the corners of pillars were missing? Hmm? Yes, you're right. It will break and fall apart. Hmm. I think some of you are still wondering. Stan, I think it can stay up. You can stay up. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, the house can stay up, but not perfect, right? Can't be perfect, right? Yes. Look, the pillars of the house are keeping it firm and steady. Without the pillars, it will not be strong enough to stay up. Yeah. So it's very important yeah, to make a strong pillar, right? Yeah, this is the fact. It is the same concept in Islam. Islam is based on five pillars. If all Muslims follow these five pillars, Islam will be firm and strong. So, as a good Muslim, you have to do yeah, all the pillars of Islam. Right? But for each pillar of Islam, that yeah, has each term and condition. So, let's move to the first pillar. Hmm. Can you guess what is the first pillar of Islam? Yeah, I have, uh, if you notice, yeah, the picture on the right side, right? Yeah, there is two words Allah and Muhammad. So what is the first? Yes. Good job. Well done. Right. The first pillar is Shahada. We believe and say. Let's say it together, right? Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. What is the meaning? The meaning is there is no God except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The word shahada means to testify. As Muslims, we obey Allah in everything, right? Yeah. In our behavior, in, in, uh, in our activities, yeah. We have to obey, have to be to Allah. Right, we accept and believe that Allah exists and that He is our one true God. We also accept and believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. Yeah? Don't forget, Muhammad is the last prophet, right? That we have to believe yeah, as the messenger of Allah. Okay. Ah, the second is hmm, look the left on the left corner, right? This one. There are two boys that are do something, right? And that are doing something. So, can you guess it? What is the name of the activity? Oh, good job. So, let us start. Yes. Uh, okay. It's called as so lat. Good job. Or in English, you can say prayer. Okay. We pray five times in a day, right? Can you mention it? All of the prayer. Subuh, zuhur, asar, and Isha Subuhur Ashar Mahrib and Isha Good job 
the Arabic word for prayer is salah or salat. Prayer means application. Yeah. We pray to Allah. We ask something to Allah. Is is the meaning of supplication? It is a special form of worship to Allah. Prayer is what connects us with Allah. It is an act of love to show Allah and that we are grateful for all the wonderful and bla- beautiful blessing that He has given us. So, what is the topic of prayer? Can you mention it? Can you tell us? Okay. One uh, yeah, of the advantage one of the advantages of prayer is prayer gives our soul soul peace and keeps us connected to Allah throughout the day so don't forget to do it right okay start but I yeah sometimes I do more than five solas in a day like when we celebrate uh it mubarak yeah and other and other conditions that okay so yeah uh besides five prayers in a day that there, there are some additional prayer we call it sunnah prayer but you can do it or not yeah based on the condition right okay Max, wow, there is two people, uh, two children, three children, right? Yeah, look. Yeah, there is a girl and there is a boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, what is the name of the activity? Yeah, look, that's right on the back right okay yeah zakat or zakat right so the third color is zakat so can you tell us yeah based on the picture what is the meaning of zakat Something we start to other, it does. Yeah, especially we give something to the poor or those who are in need, right? Yeah, you have to highlight the poor or those who are in need. We call it zakat. Okay. The word zakat means to purify or increase. It is when we give a small amount of our wealth once in a year. Once a year. To the poor or those who are, who are in need, as long as long as we are able. Yeah, this is the requirement. Yeah, the the requirement, the term and condition. We are able, but if we are in poor, that yeah, yeah, it's not your your responsibility, right? Okay, but if we can do it, yeah, it's better. Okay, but. Okay. Don't worry. If you give something to the poor or those who are in need, you will be poor, inshallah. Because Allah, yeah, Allah, inshallah, Allah will purify and increase more and more our wealth as a river. As Muslims, it is our personal responsibility to help those in need. And to try our best to spread equality among people, right? Okay. Okay, look. <laughs> look. The picture. Look at the picture, right? Okay, this is the fourth color of Islam. Do you know? Saur, saur, saur. Ah, yes. Stay. Yes, good job. The poor color is fasting, or we can call it as tau, or in Bahasa Indonesia you call it puasa. Okay. 
Okay. What month do we fast? Yes, we fast in Ramadan. Okay. Anyone can explain the definition of fasting? Okay, okay. So that will help you to define the word or the terminology of fasting. The word of fasting. Fasting is when we don't eat or drink during daylight. This is the time during daylight. But we can eat, we only eat or drink after sunset. So not all the day and night. But all the day and night, but only in daylight, right? Fasting teaches us patience to be self-disciplined and to control ourselves and to be grateful for our lost blessings. Yeah, so we can feel uh, others, especially in the poor, yeah, right? And who the people uh, people who eat, who they who feel hungry, right? Or feel starving in the daylight. So, being able to control ourselves from eating or drinking also trains us to be able to control any bad habits or bad deeds. Yeah, consume more food, maybe. Uh, so, fasting is very uh, useful to our body, yeah, right? Very beneficial. And helping us become better Muslims. E, the last but not least is the Baik Allahumma la Baik, la Baik la Shari, la Kala Baik. Inna alhamda wa nigmata, la Kala Mulk la Shari Kala. The name of the sentence, yeah, yeah the word is. Yeah, right. So, okay, I already given you a clue, right? So, what is the last? How oh, I choose that? Yes, or we call it as pilgrimage. Yeah, the fifth pit pillar is pilgrimage. Pilgrimage means we go to Mecca for Hajj in the special month. Yeah, this is month. What is the month? Yeah, Dhul Hijjah. Especially starting from yeah, nine to thirteen. Nine and two from nine to thirteen. Thirteen to Dhul Hijjah. The Arabic word for pilgrimage is Hajj. Pilgrimage means to go on a journey very special journey to a very special and holy place yeah you can uh at makkah uh, or masjid haram yeah and then we go to arafah and then mina Muzdalifa, and then we go for hajj in makkah saudi saudi arabia it is where our prophet muhammad is and blazing be upon him was born and it also where the kaaba Right, when we we when we do prayer, right, we face to Kaaba, right, as the Qibla. Okay, as adult Muslims, we should make this journey once in our lifetime. This is the terms and the condition. If we can avoid it and we are healthy and so, make sure that you can avoid it and. You are healthy and well. This is yeah, the, the the requirement for a term and condition. Okay, now it's time to discuss. Okay, because it's discussion time. Mm, maybe you have any question? Do you have any question? No? Is it clear? Are you sure? Okay, thank you. So, let's make a conclusion. Woo. 
Okay, let's conclude our topic for today, right? Okay, that's on based on my explanation. Islam is based on five pillars, five pillars, right? If all Muslims follow these five pillars, Islam will be firm and strong, right? Okay, like <laughs> Islam, Islam yeah, consists of five letters, right? I S L A M. But it's not an abbreviation for five pillars, right? Okay, these are the five pillars of Islam. First is Shahada. The second is Salat or prayer. The third is Zakah or Zakat. Four is fasting or Saum or Puasa. And the last is pilgrimage or Hajj. Okay, so after make a conclusion, I want to ask you some questions to reflect our meeting for today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, reflection. Let's answer the question. So, how much you have learned about the five colors of the club by answering the five, the, the following question? Are you ready? Yeah, I will mention it in order, right? What are the five pillars of Islam? Jadal, Salah, Zakah, Fasting, Elgermage, Hijab. What do we say for the first pillar? Ashhadu Allah. There is no God except Allah and Muhammad Messenger of Allah. Right? How, how many times do we pray daily or in a day? I already mentioned it, right? Yes, five times in a day. Good job. Who do we give the zakah to? To the, to the poor or those who are in the good job. Well done. Excellent. When do you fast? In Ramadan. Why? Because fasting teaches us passion to be disciplined, control our health, for emotion to control our health, right? So, where do we go for Hajj? All the job. Yeah, we, yeah, we go for Hajj in in Makkah. Yeah, let's show Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Mashallah. Okay. See you later, guys. See you later, kids. Ah. Huh? Probably you will uh, you will gain yeah the knowledge about and understand yeah, and understanding uh, deep understanding about this topic. Okay, see you later in the next thing. Let's close by reciting Hamdalah and Kafaratul Majlis together. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Subhanaka Allahumma Wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Walhamdulillahi rabbil anam. Thank you very much. See you. Wassalamu alaikum. Wassalamu alaikum. That's the way to answer it. Wa alaikum salam, wa alaikum salam. That's the way to answer it. Okay, bye.